Hello friends, let's create an application that uses server-side validation control. So I'm creating a new project, just giving the name. Hello friends, let's create an application that uses server-side validation controls. So I'm just creating an application for the registration form. I should validate each of their fields. Just select the web form. So let's create a registration form and add a new web form over here. Add a web form. I'm adding a web form for registration. So here I'll just create, select a table from HTML tags. So here I have a table. I need to set the values. Just right here, choose your username. So here I need to have text box. There should be a standard text box on that into the server side text box. So, txt username. Then, second will be choose password. Just take the text box control again. So, the name is txt choose password. Confirm password. Then we require a text box. This will be txt. Confirm password. In addition to these two rows, we require some more rows for let's say email address txt email let's take age so this is txt age now if you see the design view but one more pro required for a submit button so let's add one submit button over here so I need to take one submit button, btn submit, so yeah, submit, just give the call span or you can say we are merging here and just give alignment equals to center. So if you see this design of this particular page, it's a very simple registration form. There is one more column over here. I have given all the previous blanks. So here we need to take some validation controls. So if you see these here in the standard toolbox, we have some validation controls. So as a user, I need to fill all these details. So I need to ha I have one required field validator control. So I can take it for all these validators, all these text boxes. Now, if you want, you can change the property here at the same time. So, error message as just I'm making it to star. I'm changing the full color to let's say red. Now, the important thing is we need to connect this particular control with the 
specific text box control. So here the property is called as control to validate. So first control I'm validation control I'm connecting with with username. Second validation control I'm connecting with choose password. Third I'm connecting with confirm password. Fourth I'm connecting with email. Fifth I'm connecting with page. So in this way, I'm just connecting that validation control with the text box control. Let's see the effect of it. I'm just executing this registration page. So it will take some time for loading. So you see a registration phase and I click submit so this my validators are working. So when I enter something so it will get removed. So the next validation is a compare validator which will compare two strings if they are equal or not. So I'm taking this confirm password compare validator. So for compare validator I'm setting the error message to password mismatch. This four color will be. I'm giving it to color red, and the important property is control to validate. Some con con validating the con control confirm password, and control to compare is choose password. Let's see the effect of it. So here, if I type this one and type in this one, so it will give me the error. Next validator is email. Val email for email validation, we have a regular expression validator. So error message we can provide invalid email changes four color to red and control to validate set it to email. Then the another important property for validation is email addresses validation expression. So here we need to have a proper email address. So this is a validation control that we connected to text box of email. Let's see the effect of it. Just refreshing that page. So username, password, choose password, and this is an invalid email. So I need to have a proper email ID. Then we need to get removed. Then the next validator is a range validator, where we need to specify the range. Values. So let's say age must be between 18 to 50. So I'm changing its four color to red and control to validate txt age. Save it and uh, we need to set the values for it. Maximum values 50 and minimum values 18. Let's see the effect. Let's refresh this page. I'm adding username, password, email should be correct. But if I'm entering the age, that's 11. So it will throw the error. If I'm entering 17, again it will be same. If I'll enter 55, it will be same. But if I'll give the proper age in between 18 and 19, 18 and 50, so it will remove that. So now this page is ready for the submission. Now there's along with this, all this control, we have one more validator called as custom validator. So for example, if I want to add my own validator, so I have one custom validator. So for example, if I want a password length should to be uh, less than 
file. So we can add this. Or we can just give error message to if password length is greater than 5. It should be greater than 5. So let's connect to the control to validator. Let's choose password. But there's an important protocol as a client validation. So I'm just giving a client validator with validation function names validate function. Now I need to write a JavaScript for it. So I'm writing a JavaScript in this source page. Something in the head script. Writing function. Function name with two parameters as one is sender. The second one is the argument of an object. So if your arguments dot value dot is less than five, you need to set the arguments dot is valid equals to false. Else set the can set less than equal to also now we are one type equals to script so this is my validation function I think we have set the properties also so let's execute this page and see the effect of it Submit the page. So these are the validations controls that we need to 